1.1.5 Domain and Range of Parent Functions It's such a question. How do I find domain and range of graphs? Skill. I could identify the domain and range of parent functions. There are three different types of notation to write these boundaries. We have inequality notation, interval notation, and set builder notation. This one's a linear function. The domain is all real numbers and the range is all real numbers. Now we could write it like this and this, but that's not considered like standard notation here. They would just say it's all real numbers in this case. Also known as just writing a capital R of two lines in it. To write this in interval notation, the domain would be parentheses, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, close parentheses. Same thing with range. And then for set notation, the domain would be x such that x is an element of the real numbers. And you put braces around sets. Range would be the same, but we would write y instead of x, or you could put f of x instead. They might put either notation. Let's look at the next one. This one is a v-shape, it's absolute value. The domain is all real numbers, and then the range would be y is greater than or equal to zero. To see this on the graph, the lowest value to the highest value is how you find the range. The lowest is zero and the highest just keeps going, so that's infinity. We write inequality notations. You don't have to write infinity. Technically, this would be the same thing. You would write that for interval notation, however. So it would be bracket, zero, comma, infinity. We would put a bracket here because zero is included in that set. We have infinity that will never be included, and so we're going to put a parenthesis. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And then for our set notations, for the domain, we have brace x such that x is an element of the real numbers. And then for the range, to write a set that has an inequality notation, you just write a, a y such that, and then you write the inequality. Y is greater than or equal to zero. Let's look at this one. It is a rational odd. To find the domain of something you take from the left and then the right and if there's any kind of discontinuities in the middle, which there is one right here, there is no x value right there because that is a vertical asymptote. So the domain is all real numbers except x can equal zero. So in inequality notation, you would write that like this. x is less than zero or x is greater than zero. In interval notation, you would write like this, negative infinity comma zero, u for union, also means or, zero comma infinity. 
And then for set notation, you would write x such that x is an element of all real numbers except x cannot equal 0. So it basically means it can equal everything except for 0. Okay, for the range, we're going to take the lowest discontinuities in the middle and then the highest. This one is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So this one's also all real numbers except for y can't be 0. For inequality notation, you would write like this. y is less than 0 or y is greater than 0. The interval notation would be parentheses negative infinity comma 0 u 0 to infinity. And then the set notation would be brace y such that y is an element of the real numbers except y cannot equal 0. Let's look at one more of these together. The sine function. For the domain, it's all real numbers. On the left, it's going on forever. On the right, it's going on forever. There's no breaks in the middle, discontinuity, so it's all real numbers. The interval notation should be the same as before. Negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the set notation, brace x such that x is an element of the real numbers. And then the range is lowest to highest. Well, the lowest is negative 1, and the highest is positive 1. So negative 1 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 1. Those are included because those are actual points on the graph. Our interval notation, we would have bracket negative 1, comma positive 1. And then for the set, we have y such that negative 1 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 1. Try the rest of these examples on your own and then check them with the key. Also answer the essential question.